Welcome back to daytime, everyone. It's summertime. It's hot outside. You don't feel like going through a lot of trouble, but you want to have friends and family over for a relaxing Sunday visit. Yes. Brunches are great because it's easy, relaxing, and informal. Plus, you can party all day and still get a good night's sleep. That's right. <laughs> Entertaining and hosting expert Liza Utter is here to share some stress-free hosting tips to turn your Sunday into a fun, fun day. day. Yay. We can still have fun and still have people over. Yeah, you know, I always tell people hosting is not a sadistic or masochistic <laughs> Sport. You say, <laughs> Kiana, the producer, loved that. She I like says, that. I like that book, like that Fifty lot. Shades of Grey, I guess. And, uh, I haven't read it yet, but I apparently have. this is resonating with people, but it's not masochistic. Okay, good. Hosting really is about enjoying yourself and trying to bring out the most in yourself. So then that way you are great at being able to make your guests feel comfortable and happy as well, well the first thing you say is keep it casual casual keep it simple yes. keep it easy summer is all about being relaxed and light and easy and getting out of the routine that's very key mm. so this is one of my suggestions or tips for hosting a brunch really not fussy at all start on time and end on time start on times a lot of the mistakes that people make they have a start time but then they don't have an end time right and so what happens when there's not an end time well if it's a really great party it goes people on. are gonna want to stay uh -huh. a long time uh -huh. and what ends up happening is that makes it difficult for your shopping because you think <laughs> oh my gosh for five hours six hours how am I gonna plan my shopping list and the next thing you know you're spending a lot of money and then your brunch seems to be something that it, is insurmountable. Well, it's turned into dinner, <laughs> and then into after dinner, dinner, and then, and then you're then thinking, you how guests. do I get rid of these people? Yes. And you can't. <laughs> you say set up DIY stations for everything. Set up DIY, and the, oh, and uh, yes, and then the other thing is with the start time yeah. and the end time, mm -hmm. also create a an open house feel. That way, it's easier on you, right. and it's easier on your guests. So people aren't showing up all at the same time. Okay. You're able to really spend some real time with them one-on-one -on -one, and then the next and then the next and it's like an ongoing really fun party. So for this brunch you're not slaving away over some no, scrambled eggs. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's all about DIY. Okay. Do it yourself. Set it up ahead of time mm -hmm. so that the guests know, look, this is your party too. Help yourself to coffee, help yourself to your, your fruit. So we have the fruit skewers. It's a fun way to put out the That's fruit delicious yes and then people can walk around with it they're not mm -hmm. just hanging over so it allows people to mingle healthy too and healthy and the other thing is this couscous that I make it's called confetti couscous this is actually made with quinoa too mm, so you can stuff. substitute yes quinoa is very hearty and so is the couscous so what we do with the couscous because this can be served room temperature at any time and it's delicious all day long mm -hmm. it is so simple we've got a few ingredients here it's also on my website lies America's host in case you don't get it there you go Dry cranberries, toasted pine nuts, mint. Oh, you have to smell this. Mm. Smell that. Oh, my that smells smells so delicious. good. Cilantro, mango. I'm going to show you how to. Actually, you're going to do it. Okay. Yeah. We're going to show you, Cindy, real Cindy's quickly. Cindy's going in. Just dump. Dump. Just dump it. I can Just do that. Just dump. I don't know. Maybe the dumping. I, Lindsay, the all last time I was here, said plopping. <laughs> yeah, all of it. <gasps> Woo! That's minty. <laughs> minty fresh. Okay, and then we do the dried cranberries. Oh. The oh. toasted pine nuts. Oh, this smells good. Let me tell you, and if this isn't making you happy when you're <laughs> hosting, I don't know what does, because really, truly, this doesn't take long. This and a mimosa. And yeah, I'm, this and I'm a mimosa. the best time ever. Oh, and look how beautiful. That now, is this, nice. This is why we call it confetti couscous, mm. the color. And then, of course, you have your dressing at the end. Right. And this is something that you can even put on the side, and mm. people can help themselves. You know, I'm thinking having <gasps> this with a little quiche that's been pre-made so yeah. that you don't have to worry about Sir, you know, Sir, getting over the stove and cooking right. all this stuff. And I'll tell you something. One of the great things about DIY is it allows your guests to really feel at home. Yes. It's more informal, so people can help themselves. They feel relaxed. Right. It's a really great thing on a Sunday yep. just to lie back and enjoy the party. And enjoy your friends yeah, yeah. and don't get stressed out. No. And remember to give them an end time. Yes. Because even though you're all having fun, they have to leave. <laughs> they have to leave, especially on a Sunday. It's a school night. What are you drizzling over the so top? So this is our shallot oh, vinaigrette. Lovely. Yeah, and you just pour that right on top. Oh, my. I'm you, coming to your house yes, for the next brunch. Please do. <laughs> please do. I'd love to have you. She is Liza Utter, entertaining and hosting expert, and we can see why. Thank you yeah, very much. Thanks, Cindy. Good to have you. Still to come, nice a performance you. by Christian artist Karen Williams. She'd probably like to dig into this, I'm oh, sure. Oh, come on. Come on, Dad. <laughs> we'll be right back. That's right. Ha, ha, ha.